Um, okay, so I want to uh, we want to do our Docker run again. Okay, so Helix, and then let's try. Uh, if I don't, uh, if I don't give it a command, it drops me in Helix here like this. Um, we are currently in the code directory, but there's nothing here for us to look at, which is obviously. I mean, I don't know if it's obviously a problem, but it's a it's a thing. Uh, I mean, it's kind of useless for us. So what I want to do is um, update this. Let's uh, let's see. I don't need. Right, what are these from? These are from oh images. That's not none of these are helpful. I don't need you. Okay, get rid of all those. Um, and let's try this time. Let's try uh volume in it so we're going to do a docker um oh right uh docker run remove uh i don't actually know do i need the it i don't actually know i don't think i do i think this will just work we'll do volume so i want pwd so i can just look at our docker file from inside of here um we'll go into slash code uh, and then I don't think there's anything else I need to do with this. So we're going have it as remove. Uh, that's good. So this is going to be Brook Zerker. Helix. I guess the latest too. Um, no such file or directory. There is a volume code that is Docker images. It is Brook Circle Helix. Did I misspell my own username? No. Okay, so unable to create new application caused by no such file or directory. Oh, uh, nice. You went from 10 gigabytes to over 200 gigabytes without deleting anything. Nice. Excellent. I've done that in the past by just deleting Docker images. <laughs> it's, uh, yeah. Okay, so you worked as normal. I, I did rebuild this, right? Docker build, we do that. Um, Docker run. Do I need the dash IT? Oh, I do need the dash IT. Okay, never mind. Uh, okay, so we're we're in here, and if we open up our our view of all the files, we can see our Docker file. So I can now see and edit this file here. So if I were to like delete this line, save you, come over here and I can say refresh, um, re reload. And that updates there. So this, um, uh, I am now able, I can now bootstrap essentially running uh, Helix inside of here. So we can, I could get rid of you. I don't know if I want to. Um, so the next thing would be users to do. 
So we do, we want to use our user ad for this. So let's do a um, uh, we can run second run here. Let's run. Is it? I think it's ad user. Ad user. I forget. Um, run shell command. Ad user. I'll, I was hoping it would show me the ad user here. If I if I quit out, it just quits out back to here. So I'd have to run, override the command and go inside. And I, we can either do that or I can just come back to here and look at what we this did we get. Okay, here I want the home directory. So ad user. Home directory is slash code, which means this definitely needs to be below the volume. Let's run add user uh, code. We're going to disable the home directory. Don't create, uh, don't create a home directory, and that's it. Uh, oh, and we're gonna call this um, coder. We're we're the coder. Uh, so then, okay, so workter. Let's then switch the user coder. So when I rejoin with you. Everything should still be fine, but now I'm user uh, coder. Nice. Okay, so we have a user. We're not running as root anymore. We have Helix installed. Uh, we have no configuration for Helix. This is just bare bones. Uh, out of here. So if I were to let's go find a a Rust project. Here we can go into our code crafters get Rust. So if I do our Docker run here. We have, we see everything here, this is fine. If I jump into, let's say even main, uh, I don't get, like there's there's not really anything here. So what do we need installed to properly run and work with uh, Rust code? This is where we're gonna start maybe running into some problems with, with Helix. With Helix? No, with Alpine. I need, I'm probably going to need to install, I need to install Rust Analyzer, don't I? Uh, which means I need to install Rust. Uh, now, I need to install Rust Up and Rust. Rust Analyzer comes with Rust Up now, doesn't it? So that's uh, override with bin sh. Uh, if I want to APK search rest up. Okay, rest up. Is that the is that the rest up I think it is? Rest tool chain installer? Okay, I think it is. Oh Rust uh, Alpine provides a distribution of Rust. It um I guess that's the next thing is like, if I did Rust, this would get me Rust 1.7210. What is, what is the latest? One point seven five. 
So I'd be missing several versions if I were to use Alpine's version of Rust. That's the only negative is that I would, I wouldn't, I, I, I wouldn't be able to use that. So what we have to do is we're gonna say, um, maybe, okay, so we run this, apk add helix. Um, can I add multiple things together? So add helix um, and rust up. Billy Bob Buttery Biscuit, hello. How are you doing today? So we're just gonna add rust up. Let's open a second window down here. Uh, this is in the wrong... I want to open it from over here. So we're going to do our Docker build again. Uh, you're doing okay? Excellent. My day is going pretty good. We uh, we wrote one article on uh, on basically making really sm much smaller images of Rust. Uh, Rust? No, Docker. Um, using Alpine, which is good, and then now we're uh, now we're working on basically containerizing an app and making it more of a command, uh, an exec uh, container or image as opposed to just a normal dev image. Okay, so we have we have Rust up installed. So if I come over here and we run this again, so just Docker run, drop you into here. If I do like Rust up. Uh, uh, I think cargo doesn't exist. Hmm. Does when I install Rust up, that should automatically install cargo, right? Rust up not found. Where where does it put it? I need to tell Rust up to install a two ch tool chain. Yeah, but where where did uh, did my run actually? Yeah, okay. So add Helix and Rust up. Oh, Rust up in it. That's what it is. I need to do Rust up in it. Okay, so this will then do the thing. Oh, and it wants, okay, so actually, I do want there to be a different home directory because it's going to try to install all this stuff into code, which that's not, that's not what I want. So let's instead uh, do create the home directory for coder, which means it's going to put that in a coder. So let's try this again. Now, if I do a rest up in it, um, oh, I still want to put it into code. Um, why? Oh, because I set the home directory to code. Okay. Uh, you can figure out what your home directory is. Hey, oh, tap. I was doing up arrow. It doesn't remember what I was doing last time. Okay, so yeah, now it's gonna put it into home coder cargo. Okay, that's gonna be fine. Proceed with the with the installation, which means it should install Rust Analyzer 2. So the problem though, is that I need to do this not without, I need to do that interactively without, um, uh any of this without the um what is it called the the yes i wanted to automatically do it so
We can do quiet. Oh, and then disable confirmation prompt with yes. That's fine. I think that would work. And then I could also do components to install, components to also install. Now, if we put in docker compose, we go to main, let's say. Um, I don't know if you're going to help. Yeah, I hear, well, is that yelling at me? Or is that, is that something else? I don't know. Okay, so here we go. So we're gonna do add, uh, we add you and then we run add user. Okay, so we switch over to user coder and then as this user, we're gonna run. Uh, do, Rest up, in it, Q, um, and Y. Okay, that should install Rust, the Rust toolchain, and everything else. So if I do that now, with each change, it's taking a little bit longer to build the image, which makes sense. Like that's that's kind of how how it works. But then it's gonna it's gonna cache and be be really fast at the very end. Okay, so that's good. Let's now come back into here and rejoin it. Now do we have cargo. I don't have cargo. Now if I go to my home directory, I'm in coder, and if I look at everything, I do see a cargo in here. So I do, I do see that. That's good. I guess it's not in my path. It must not be in my path. So if I run... Cargo... Okay, so cargo there, um, echo path. Yeah, that's not set up for that. You don't think Rust, I thought Rust Analyzer was was added in for us automatically, but maybe, maybe not. I, because I could swear I saw in one of the updates that Rust Analyzer was added in, but... That may not be the case. But okay, first first problem. We need to add this to our path. Okay, it's an additional component you need to add. Um, no, Helix does not own its add its own REST analyzer. It does search for, here, if I use Helix health, health, Helix health, um, Rust. Yeah, Rust analyzers are not found in path. Now, and I didn't, I don't think we saw it in a bin, right? So if I do ls cargo bin. Yeah, you're right. Oh, clip. Clippy is installed. Oh, that's what it was. Clippy gets installed by default now, not Rust Analyzer. Okay, that's that's what we need to do. Okay, so a couple different things. We need to set the path, which uh, we, the means I need to add in, uh, what do we have in here? I have a dot profile. That's going to have to work. Which is just home. OK, that that that's not really all that helpful. Uh, what I probably want to do is I probably want to do something like um, echo.
maybe okay so we'll do echo home cargo bin and then we'll put path immediately after it and i want to append to dot profile and so if i resource profile Home coder cargo bin not f oh that's not good. Um here. Helix uh dot cargo oh no dot um profile Oh you know what? Because I didn't do a path equals. I needed to do a path equals and then this is going to be home cargo bin like that that's that's what i really want to do uh then we'll do our source again uh and now if i do cargo that works so after we do our rest up do a run um so we're gonna do echo Path equals uh, to, to home cargo bin uh, colon path to now I'm in uh, I'm in my okay, let's make sure that I'm in my home directory right actually we don't need to do this we'll just do because we know what this is right so this is going to be um home uh dot profile something like that so that should now that what i like to do is i, I do like to do the one change one test thing so we that one change rebuild come back to here rerun um, I don't have cargo, so that did not work. Now I do see, okay, so I have a path, home coder, cargo bin. So that, it did add this in here. Does this not profile? Oh no. Source. Ah, uh, okay. Oh, I need to export the path. Eport. Export path equals. Okay. Let's try that. Uh, it still didn't work. Uh, if we resource that works. So the export as part of this command didn't do it. Um, okay, so what um, is profile not running? I feel like profile isn't running by default. Uh, now, which um, I'm in, okay, so we're in SH. Uh, so let's see.
Oh, profiles only run when using a login shell. Oh, that's good. Can you set the environment variables directly from the Docker file with env? I could set, I could do that. Um, do I want to do that? No, I don't want to overwrite the path though. I, I don't think I want, wouldn't that, wouldn't that overwrite the path? Um, okay, so profiles only is overridden when, when creating a login shell. What's the, uh, what is a, yeah, let's, let's see. Um, oh, so if I was an Ash. Ooh, okay, so let's try this. Um, maybe, maybe my problem is. that I'm just running SSH and I want Ash. No, that's not the problem. So I still need it to get it to read the dot profile or I need it to source, I need to create another one. So Ash, so Alpine Linux, Ash, um, like, is there like an Ash R RC file? Yeah, what is the what is the bash rc equivalent in alpine linux ash and then also ash profile configuration file oh there is okay so um ash rc is probably what it is it's probably ash rc let's try it before i actually do anything for this Oh, what does ls dash lh bin sh? That gives me that. Oh, it goes to busy box. Interesting. Oh, and ash also goes to busy box. So it's literally the same thing. They're they're literally the same thing. So uh, if I touch ash dot ash r c, let's let's try this. Um, we're gonna do echo. Hi there. And if I run ash. I did not get an echo high there. So it's not Ash RC. I wonder if it's BusyBox RC. No, it's not that either. Oh, everything goes to BusyBox in Alpine? Wait, really? Um. Oh, you're right. Everything does go to BusyBox. Oh, I I had no idea. Oh, that's fun. Um, okay, so Now, what can I, uh, I wonder if there is a way for me to update the pro, um, I guess maybe that would be a good, a good Docker question then. I don't want to install bash. Like the entire point is to keep it lean and small, right? So, uh, let's say, 
We'll do that if we have to. How about that? We'll do that if we have to. So can I do docker user set path? Like, is there a way for me to set the path in Docker? Okay, so we can do we can do environment replacement with this. Oh, okay. Well then that that works. So environment path. Okay. Well if this if this works and we're able to is there uh, they're just using environment here. So let's uh, let's try this. So we install do environment path equals um, and so this is going to be uh, doo -doo -doo. now they have the replacement. Okay, so like that. Do home. I guess I probably just want to do Something like home uh, cargo bin colon path, something like that. Now, if we run you, rebuild you, oh, still not found. Um, our car, oh, it didn't choose the right one. It, this will only work if I'm in my home directory. And now, uh, oh, I was hoping that would work because it's looking under, oh, it's looking under slash. It's looking under slash. So this needs to be, like that. Um, oh, that's, oh, but because my home, even though I'm under user here, okay, so fine. So this is going to be, I have to set what it's going to be, right? So this is going to be, um, slash home coder cargo bin. There it goes. Okay, so cargo is now in our path and we can do that. That's great. Now I want to do rest up. Um, uh, rest up. Is it? It's a comp it's a component, right? So rest up. Component. List. And we're looking for rest analyzer. Rest up component add rest analyzer, which if I remember correctly is uh two. Okay, so that we're gonna do dash C. So I think it's um rest up in it dash C component. So dash C component is rest analyzer. There it is. I see Rust Analyzer getting installed now. Okay, so we can jump into here. We have we have cargo. Everything is good. Um, if we do Helix uh, Health Rust. Um, ooh, it cannot find REST Analyzer in a path. Where did it install? So, um, I don't think it's, yeah, there's no RA. Um, where does, where does REST Analyzer get installed?
Oh, the minimal profile and involve and avoids installing the offline docs. Oh yeah, that would work. Oh, rest up. Oh, I could do rest up. Um uh which rest analyzer. Okay, so it's at home coder rust up. Okay. So I want to take this. Um, I feel like there's going to be a bin in here, isn't there? Well, there's not. So tool chains. Oh, that's too bad. Oh, that's kind of, that's kind of not great. Now, if I were to go into Oh, normally rest up should add a proxy as it does for cargo. Okay. Where would it normally put it? The the symlink. It would normally Okay, so it, let's find out. So if I go into cargo, we go into bin. Yeah, there's no Rust analyzer here. So I would do a ln uh, dash s. We're going to do Rust up toolchains that bin Rust analyzer to here. And now we can see Rust analyzer there. And if I try our Helix. Command again. Oh, what's uh, there? It is uh, Helix. Now it can find Rust Analyzer. So okay. Uh, okay. So that being said, when I try to install that, I wonder. There, there's a bunch of reasons why it might have like not not installed it properly. Now, you're also suggesting that I um, do a minimal profile. Uh, can I do that with rest up, uh, rest up in it? In it. Uh, so, Robo's quiet. Was there a minimal? Oh, yeah, profile minimal. Okay, so. So it's um, flags first. So, uh, um, quiet. So, no verbose quiet. Yes. I don't have the mo no modify path, but there there's an entire thing there. Okay. So help version. Okay, so that's fine for that. And then options comes next. Next. Um default tool chain. Um profile. Okay, so before this we do Profile minimal. Uh, we do C for Rust Analyzer. And oh, that doesn't do the thing. Okay, so we're going to have to run ln uh, symlink. Oh, it's normally not a symlink, it's a proxy that selects a good version. Interesting. I didn't realize that. Is there, there's nothing for me to install proxy wise that helps out, right? I don't think so. Well, that sucks, but whatever will, it'll be fine. So, uh, this went, okay, so we're going to, ln s um, slash home coder rest up tool chains that one's gonna be fine maybe copy the rest c binary in cargo as rest analyzer i why would copying the entire Rust 
like the actual compiler itself as rest analyzer i don't think that would work um bin okay so we want that so i want ln that oh uh i want to to do that to slash home coder cargo bin oh because the binaries in cargo bin are the proxies but i still don't understand why rust c as rust analyzer would be good for rust analyzer because that wouldn't be Rust Analyzer, that would just be the Rust compiler named as Rust Analyzer. Like Rust C isn't a proxy, right? It's the actual compiler. Unless I'm mistaken. That's how dynamic version selection is done by Rust up. Like it it um like they're they're all just rust c you have to respect the fact that i don't swear sometimes i usually don't swear like running into problems doesn't like there's no re there's no like benefit to swearing like it won't it won't get me anything now if it got me something and like things like things would work out because of it then i would I, yeah let's swear away uh okay so Oh, the real Rusty is somewhere in Rust up. Okay, oh, we could, we could try that. Let's um let's first check this out. So if I do our Helix um, health Rust, uh, it could not find that in the path. So what happened if we go? Um, Cargo bin. Oh, it did not create the link properly. Oh, because that did ls. It's supposed to be ln. Oops. Okay. Now if we do helix health rest. Um, oh, I named it bin. I named it bin. Okay, that's not, uh, what I wanted. <laughs> Oops. Uh, developer, hello. How are you doing today? We are, uh, we are experimenting. Well, first of all, the, the entire stream is about building a course in Docker. Uh, and then currently what we're working on is building a Docker image that's going to essentially hold helix the editor so we can play around with it and like i can like up the upload that and like people you you could use it for example and it's um you don't have to have helix installed locally and it's just a, a helix that you have access to um which would have like a couple different ver like a couple different um benefits for us right like if anybody is like hey i want to try helix out and he's like okay we'll just try this docker image um but if you at the same time it can also use it to show of like how you can wrap around a command and throw it into a docker image if you shaw 256 sum or md5 sum model oh they're all the oh really okay so i still want to get this well we could try it we could try it your way so let's um let me remove let me remove, let's see, uh, to cargo bin, to remove bin. Um, all right, so what are you thinking? If I do a, oh, I do have a SHA-256 sum uh, for start. You're right, they are all the same. I had no idea. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to Do I just want to copy 
I could probably just copy one of these, right? So I could just copy, let's say this Rust C, and I rename it to Rust Analyzer. And then if I do our Helix Health Rust. Oh, okay. That's really cool. I had no idea. That That's really cool, Albert. All right, so that's going to make this significantly easier. So we're going to do uh, copy um, slash home coder cargo bin rusty to home coder home coder cargo bin rust analyzer okay that should work um what is the timing in my country right now it is uh 116 or 117 p.m or 13 13 17. okay so we'll build you Let's exit out of here Try this again, Helix, Health, um, Rust. There we go. So we have access to Rust Analyzer. So much easier than what I was trying to do before. So thank you, Albert, for that. Uh, maybe report a bug to Rust up out of adding proxies when installing additional components at Rust up in its stage. Uh, which means afternoon, yes. It's, uh, barely, it's one hour afternoon, essentially. One hour and a few minutes. Rest up in it is the same binary as rest up. Oh, really? Okay. I had, I had no idea. Learning so much. Um, okay. So we do that. That's all good. Then, um, okay. So now, uh, okay. Let's try this again. So if I, um, if I open up Helix, we go to main, let's say. Uh, let's see, what do I want to do? We have path created here, so if I... Um, I don't think... I'm trying to save you. I don't get any errors or anything else in here yet. Um, oh wait, did I actually screw myself over with that? I didn't want to actually save save it. I think we have to update the config to now actually do the thing for us, which if I remember correctly, we have to go into uh, CD. There, we go into config. We go into Helix. So it, it created this for us. Um, but there's nothing in here. So now we have to there's a few things to add in. Um, you're a Mernstack developer. If any opportunity, uh, I don't know any opportunities right now. So sorry about that developer, but good luck. Hopefully you're able to find something. Bitu, hello. How are you doing today? Uh, what are, what is your config supposed to look like? Where is my... Nope, it's still Alpine. I don't think I have Helix. I need a config.tumble. So we're going to do touch config.tumble. Um, if I Helix this, uh, we want. Theme when dark, uh, sure, we won't have access to a mouse, so that'd be false. Um, insert, this is example config, but it might be a good place for us to start. Uh, 
Now there's a reload config. There it is. Uh oh, failed. Okay, so oh. It's just the There, okay, so theme, one dark, that's fine. Uh, and we can see the line numbers are now relative, so that's good. Um, if I, uh, let's see. Let's quit out of here, let's go back to, okay, so, uh, oh, language server exited. Let's open up our logs and take a look with that. Unknown uh, field I theme. Didn't I already fix that? Okay, no. Failed to initialize Rust Analyzer. Failed to load tree sitter parser for language Tamil. Okay, no. Language Rust. Error opening dynamic library. User share helix runtime grammars. Uh oh. Uh, how do I, um, wrap? Oh, okay, so I couldn't find these. Okay, so hold on, let's... Oh, well, that's that's a little bit, that's much harder to read. I just, oh, okay, I screwed myself over there. Um, okay, so fail to load tree sitter parser for language, Tom, oh, Tom, we don't care about that. Fail to load tree sitter parser for language, Rust. Failed opening dynamic library, user share, Helix runtime grammars, Rust of this, oh, uh, Helix LSP, transport error, Rust analyzer, unknown proxy name, Rust analyzer. Valid proxy names are Rust C, Rust doc, cargo, Rust LLDB, Rust GDB, Rust GDB GUI, huh. I think you should add Rust Analyzer as a second step. Um, oh, also developer, um, have a great night. Um, Bitu, you're a fresher. You're familiar with Docker basics, making web uh, web app containers, hosting them on Azure with CI/CD, etc. But you're not familiar with advanced Docker concepts like Swarm or networking. Networking is really helpful if you want to like add in more than just like a single container locally. Like let's say you want to have a database for your web application, then using networking will allow you to have your have your database in a separate container and then connect to that from your server container, which is really nice. And then you can do that a lot easier with um, Docker Compose. Do you think we'll need them or should I invest time? Yeah, I think you're going to need the basics and ne basics networking. That's all you really need. You don't need like super advanced networking type stuff. Okay, so you, you should add Rust Analyzer as a second step. What, what do you mean add Rust Analyzer as a second step? Um, like, it's certainly possible to, oh, you know what? That's, that's, uh, Rust up. Version one dot two five dot two. Um, no, wait, I want uh, here one dot two six. So it is one version back. Yeah, we can try rest up self update. Self update is disabled for this build of Rust up. Oh. 
Okay. Well, that's a thing. Okay, APK. Uh, thank you, developer. APK, uh, how about, okay, search for Rust. Do you have Rust Analyzer? You do. Are you, like... Huh. So, I could APK install it. Which might be a terrible idea, but maybe that would work a little bit better for us. So let's say, oh, then download Rust up from, actually just like download real us. Ooh, that might be a good idea too. Oh, and I, did, I didn't even notice an ad break was starting. Uh, I'm so sorry. I usually try to give like five minute warning before that happens. Um, I'm gonna take a super quick break, um, grab a quick snack, and I will be back down here. Still be still up on my chair, so I can't give you a good um I can't give you a good uh, uh, a view of him. So Oh, you think it dates back from the time that Rust Analyzer Oh, that would totally make sense. That would make sense. Oh, where are the ads? Yeah, yeah, Rug Matt, you got you got the nice smiley face because YouTube, I configured to not give the pre the mid-roll ads. Twitch does. Okay, so I will be right back in a few minutes. <laughs> 